Welcome to my video, AGP's Top 10 Video Game Villains. I will list off my top 10 villains from horror survival games, um, but they will all be off of LPs that I've watched. I don't actually play these, so these will be from a character and story standpoint other than a actual gameplay standpoint. Number 10. The Raincoat Killer from Deadly Premonition. Now, since I've only seen so many games, I had no choice but to put this character in. The game itself is pretty awful with an inconsistent storyline and bad pacing, but the Raincoat Killer actually does make the game a little more interesting in terms of adding atmosphere and tension and the fact he looks so darn cool. Other than that, his moves are repetitive and everything he does involves quick time, and I've heard how about how everyone feels about the quick time. But had the developers actually developed this more, it's no doubt the Rinko Killer would definitely deserve a spot on any list. Number 9, Dr. Killjoy from The Suffering. Dr. Killjoy, I have to admit, really freaked me out. This voice actor did a phenomenal job. I don't have much else to add to that. I mean, he shows up through projectors and loves to kill people. Number 8, The Red Queen from American McGee's Alice. The Red Queen was an amazing character, offsetting the main character Alice by being a grown-up and pressing upon the guilt she feels over her parents' deaths. However, in the end, she was a bit of a minor letdown only because of the twist they threw in at the end. I won't say what it is because I don't want to spoil it, but it's kind of obvious. The Red Queen was definitely eerie and gave Insanity a scarier name. Number 7, Paxton Fettle from Fear. Fettel wasn't just creepy, he was disturbing. I think it was the mouth. I know you probably figured if Fear was to be mentioned, it would have been Alma, but I really don't consider her a villain. She's more or less borderline. Fettel, though, was just scary, and also quite an enjoyable character. Number 6. Diana, Meg, and Eleanor from Rule of Rose. Okay, I know Alma didn't make the list, but these girls had to. I picked all three because they all essentially are the same character, like the scary little girl Trinity. These girls were cruel, wicked, frightening, and creepy. I didn't think at first that the game would be that freaky until I really got to know these three, then all hell broke loose. If you haven't heard of this game, or have, but have never bothered to check it out, do so, because I was definitely pleasantly shocked by Rule of Rose. Number 5. Vincent from Silent Hill 3. Okay, so the only real reason this guy's on here is because I'm totally in love with him. I'm not sure whether this guy's actually a villain, but he acts like one, so I'll give him the honor. He's funny, at times menacing, and quite deceiving, but gosh darn it, that hair is just so fine. I kind of wish he was featured a little bit more, but he certainly gave the game a bit more of an edge. More so than Claudia did. Number 4, Ricardo from Haunting Ground. Ricardo is seriously just plain frightening. The first time he's introduced, he makes you look at a pregnant statue of the character you play, Fiona. Then later find out, he's her uncle. Her uncle! And if you get the bad ending to the game, he actually succeeds in getting her pregnant. If that isn't scary, I don't know what is. Number 3, Daniela from Haunting Ground. Yes, another Haunting Ground. The game is really that awesome. Except I chose Daniela based more on a character aspect than a fright factor. Daniela is a creation who cannot feel and she longs to be normal, which makes her jealous of Fiona and in turn our villain spends her remaining time in the game trying to kill you. She's a heartbreaking character that I love to death. And if this were a top 10 for voice acting, Daniela would totally top it. Number 2, Walter Sullivan from Silent Hill 4 The Room. This character has got to be my all-time fave because of how he shows up in the game. He's talked about previously to this game in Silent Hill 2 in an article talking about how he murdered two twin children, then killed himself in prison using a spoon. When you start the fourth game, he's talked about, but you never see him, and when you do for the first time, you don't even realize it's him. Or at least I didn't. 
Then you go through the second round of levels, and he chases you using a whole array of weapons, which is just cool. But there's another Walter in this game. There's also Child Walter, who appears to all of the victims who are later killed. He is a sad and interesting character and defines the meaning of having a mommy complex. And number one, Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. This isn't just Albert Wesker. This is Albert Wesker from the very first Resident Evil. I know he really isn't there for most of the game, but still, he's just so silly that he becomes a rather fun character you just can't take seriously. And the best part was when he found the picture of the scientist who worked for Umbrella and see Wesker in it. It's funny for two reasons. One, we already know he was evil. There's just no hiding it. And two, the sunglasses. He wears his sunglasses in the picture. Just in case you couldn't recognize him, they left the glasses on. Hilarious. And that's my top 10. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna leave comments saying, Oh, what about this character? What about this villain? Blah, blah, blah. But, um, do keep in mind, I've only seen about 17 different LPs, and that's my extent of horror survival knowledge. So if you do have a villain or just a character in general that you would like to put out there, or any game would be fabulous because I'm always looking for new things. And this list is just my opinion. And I know a lot of other people's opinions vary, but you are more than welcome to post your opinions. Just please keep them from being negative or mean, otherwise I will delete you. Thank you, and I appreciate you taking your time to watch my video. Later!